Hi, my name's Karen, and I'll be your teacher for the sentence correction portion of the GMAT. Today, our first lesson is on parts of speech. This is the first and most important lesson of the GMAT. It's very, very important to study your notes from this lesson very, very carefully and to make sure you understand all the terminology because this lesson will be the base for all the other lessons in the GMAT. So you've got to know this material really well in order to follow along for the future lessons. Now, just a word about timing. We don't want to worry about the timing too much at the beginning of the course. For now, concentrate on learning the information and the techniques and the grammar rules. Later on, we'll work on timing. There are five important parts of speech for the GMAT. Sorry, there's four important parts of speech for the GMAT. The first is words that act as nouns. Verbs. Descriptive words, and prepositions. We're going to start off with types of subjects, which fall under the category of words that act as nouns. There are four parts of speech that can act as subjects, including nouns, pronouns, gerunds, and infinitives. Okay, we're going to start off with nouns. There are three types of nouns. person or a place, things, and the third is concepts or emotions. Now, if the person or a place is a proper noun, meaning a specific name, we have to make sure to capitalize, such as Susan, the name of a person, we capitalize the name, or New York. Now, things can include both non-count and count nouns. Non-count nouns are things that we can't count unless we put them into containers, such as water. I can't say 
I want two waters. I can say I would like two bottles of water, so th and that's putting it into a container. Therefore, water is a non-count noun. Non-count nouns are always singular. Count nouns are basically anything you can count. Three boys, two bananas, five books. These are all count nouns. Concepts and emotions are also singular. For example, love or politics. Now we're going to go on to pronouns. The next part of speech, which can also be a subject, is pronouns. There are six important types of pronouns for the GMAT. Subject pronouns, object pronouns, possessive with a noun, Possessive without a noun. Reflexive pronouns. And finally, reflexive, sorry, relative pronouns. Reflexive and relative pronouns will be covered in the pronoun lesson, lesson number three.